everybody, it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to do a makeup tutorial that is perfect for the workplace. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I do videos about how to look and feel your best to get you out the door quickly. Also in the comment section below, I'd love to know what field of work you're in and maybe what some of your favorite products are to wear to work every day. So I look forward to seeing your comments and let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So, so to get started, I already washed my face and added a little bit of moisturizer. Now I have been loving the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick. I recently got this. I just love that you can simply glide on your face directly. If you're looking for a quick foundation routine with a little bit more coverage, because this is definitely a full coverage foundation, I would look into this. I'm in number 125, also Y315. I'm just gonna use a buffer brush and just blend that out quickly. And there's also some really great stick foundations in the drugstore as well, if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable. I think what's key about uh, makeup for an office setting or any place where you want to look put together but still minimalist is just having really nice even skin tone without being cakey. I like to do foundation before I go in my, with my concealer because I like to see what the foundation actually does in terms of if it covers my scarring. If I went in with concealer first, you can get really heavy with your face makeup. That's why I like to do concealer second and foundation first so that you don't get cakey quickly. I'm taking a creamy concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm in the shade like medium honey. I'm just going to swipe that underneath the eye. A little bit goes a long way. This is going to help brighten the under eye area and also hide those dark circles in case you don't get enough sleep the night before or you just want to look a little bit more awake. You could also use your ring finger if you'd like. And for office makeup, we do want it to stay. I have a lot of clients that always say my makeup literally just drips off by the end of the day. So what you should be doing is definitely setting it with a powder. That's going to help the lasting power of your makeup. What I recommend doing to speed up the process is taking a huge fluffy brush and just some translucent powder. This is a Laura Mercier translucent powder, definitely a crowd favorite. Just put a light dusting of this all over the face, including the eyelids. And this is going to set everything we just did so it locks in place. And since it's translucent, you can use this powder year, year round. You don't have to get a winter powder and a summer powder because who wants four different shades of powders? And barely use any of it so it doesn't make you look dry. You just want to really use this step as a way to lock everything in. Your makeup's nice and set. And this is a really beautiful satin finish powder so your skin has a little bit of a glow to it still. We're going to go ahead and use our bronzer. And I love the Hula Benefit bronzer all over again. I haven't used this in a while, but I just purchased this recently. A great tone bronzer for if you want something that's really natural. I'm taking a big brush again this is going to help speed up the process if you have a larger size brush i'm using a different brush than the one i use with the laura mercier powder you want to use two different brushes for your powder and your bronzer or else you will actually end up putting bronzer all over your face during the step when you're setting it and you don't want to do that because it's going to cling to your skin so what you want to do is do the bronzer on a separate brush after you do your setting powder and what i'm doing is really just focusing it on my hairline down the slopes of my cheeks and down my jawline and a little bit on the nose. This is just a great starting point. If you like to do a little more contour, then feel free to build it up on this step. And you're actually going to grab a fluffy brush. This is an eyeshadow brush. And we're gonna dip it into our bronzer and actually use this as our eyeshadow. I wanted to show you guys how nice this looks using your bronzer as a crease shade. This is such an effortless way to have an eyeshadow look. I call it like the ultimate lazy girl way to have perfect eyeshadow. Going back to the skin, I do like to give my cheeks a little bit of color and glow. It definitely brings like a healthy, youthful vibe to it. So I'm taking Benefit's Dandelion. I recently just got this as well. I'm using a duo fiber brush. You can use any brush. Again, I would use two, three separate brushes for your face makeup. You wanna use one for your bronzer, one for your powder, and one for your blush. Just wanna go on the apples of my cheeks so I smile and deposit it right underneath my eye and on the outside here, almost like an L shape. It's just gonna start adding a really nice soft wash of color. I'll link all these products for you guys, of course, down in the description box below. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of highlighter. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in number 100. If you do not have this, get your hands on it. It's the most affordable, beautiful highlighter I've ever seen. I'm taking it on a small brush just to go on the apple of my cheek. This really just brings a life back in your skin. Love this so much. What I love even more about it is that it makes a gorgeous eyeshadow color. And all I do is take my ring finger, 
gonna dip it into this guy and just focus this right onto my lid just like that right below where we put that bronzer that's what i love about the two products i've shown you you can use them on your cheek and your your eyelids as well getting you to have a really nice all together look in a short amount of time now we're gonna move on to the eyebrows. I find this makes a huge difference in framing the face. We're not gonna go crazy here. I'm just using a brush. You can use eyeshadow for this. You can use a pencil. I'm just gonna use a little bit of a gel pot from Anastasia Beverly Hills, using a tiny bit. And the secret to making your eyebrows look really natural, but nice and framed for the face is starting in the middle and actually just carrying it through towards the tail of the brow. I don't like to spend a ton of time on my eyebrows, but I do want them to look good. So I find that almost just cutting corners with this by not taking the time to fill in every area of your brow with a ton of product. And already just like that, it makes a huge difference having just a little bit of color in the brows and not getting too carried away. You can absolutely add some brown eyeliner. I think that's a really nice look for daytime, a nice soft brown eyeliner, this part. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and go for mascara. Um, but first, I like to curl my lashes and I highly recommend trying this you guys haven't already, it makes such a big difference in the way your mascara looks because your eyes look so much more open. Like you can really already see the difference there. And I love this one by Kevin Aquan. Then I'm gonna be using a drugstore mascara. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. And this one's really nice. I like to go for black uh, mascara for me since I have darker hair, but feel free to use a brown mascara if that's what you're more comfortable with. And I think what's key is starting as close to the root of your lash as possible. So if that means you have to look down so that you don't get mascara on your lid and below your uh, your lash line and on your skin, just make sure you're looking straight while the mascara is drying. So a lot of people say it starts to run, it starts to get everywhere. So make sure you're not looking around while your the mascara is still wet. Mascara makes the biggest difference, oh my goodness. So now I'm gonna move on to the lip. I think lips are really important. We kind of just brought out the, our key features, our brows, our skin. Now we wanna do our lips because that's another focal point right now. I think it'll make a really big difference. If I put something that's like my lip color, a little, but a little bit better, I'm gonna take the new Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in Vibe. I think this just is such a pretty color for every day and it's so easy to throw on and long wearing. It's just like this. I think what's key for office makeup is finding kind of like your signature lip, something that you feel comfortable with in the texture, the color, something you can just throw on that's easy and in your purse for the day. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a clear gloss on the center just to give a little bit of a healthy shine. And the last thing you wanna do, and you wanna wait till your mascara is dry to do this, or you can even do it before your mascara if you wanna avoid it from running. But I'm gonna take a setting spray. This is gonna help your makeup stay on a really long time and it just make, pulls everything together. It makes such a big difference. I'm just gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. You wanna shake it first and then just hit all parts of your face. And there you have it guys. This is so easy to achieve in such a short amount of time. A full face office makeup look or just for day to day. Super easy. You don't need a lot of products. You could probably achieve this with what you already have. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I also love to know what some of your favorite products are to wear to work. And so thank you guys so much for joining me here as always. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Like always, take care. Bye.